All right, welcome to our study of the book of Revelation. We are in going currently right now through the seven seals. We are showing the seven seals as a timeline of the end times. It went through the first four seals. That was the Antichrist. The fifth seal was God promising to avenge his children. The sixth seal is the victory seal for, for the Christians. We, are, we have developed booklets that correspond with each of the seven seals that we're going through. These booklets are free. If you email us at brbst.com, we will be glad to email them back to you. And what they are is they are all the words, I mean all the verses of the Word of God that pertain to that seal in the book of, book of Revelation. We don't have any commentary or anything else in there. It's just the Word of God. Now in the seal, we're going to see the earth changing, and we're going to see three groups of people, three distinct different groups of people, and they all have a, a major role to play in this seal, and we, we are going to see them as we study it and as, as we learn. So let's, let's get started. Let's get into the Word. It starts in chapter 6, verse 12. It says, And I beheld, when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her on timely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. We're, we're going to talk about the earth here for just a minute. This is, this is the time that God has already wrapped up the Antichrist, and now he's about to, he's, he's, he's about to start putting out judgment upon mankind, but he he's going to take care of some of his people first. But here we have the earth changing shape. It says, And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as the fig tree casteth her on timely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their place. We know that the earth is a is a sphere now, but we also, know, according to this, it says that the earth is going to be moved like a scroll. A scroll is rolled together and then when they unroll it, it's flattened out. And that's going to be a major role in part of the other things that are, are to come because our God is powerful enough. He can He can make this sphere that we call Earth that we, we think is, is in a perfect orbit. He can make it square. He can make it flat. He can do anything He wants to with it. Okay, let's get into the people somehow. It says, And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every freeman, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? All the power brokers, and all the people to be and all the freedmen that aren't saved, that haven't, are in, and haven't been serving God, every one of them is going to realize on that day that this is it. They have missed the boat, so to speak. Let's go on. It says, and, and now, now we're in, into the seventh chapter, and it says, and after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. I, I want to mention something there. I mentioned something about how God could flatten this earth. I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen. But he has the power to. And now, now we get into where we, he has an angel on the four corners of the earth. So maybe he did flatten it out. I mean, we also understand the four corners is the four, four points of a compass and so on. But my God is not limited to anything that we think has to happen. He can make any of it happen. And we go on, and it says, And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Now these four angels that are on the four corners of the earth are there to inflict pain upon this earth and up on the people that are on it. But the angel, this, this angel that comes, comes from the east says, wait a minute, something else God's going to have to do first. So we know that 
these things are kind of happening in a certain order. Goes into 7-4 and it says, And I heard the number of them which, which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. And if you look in the next verse, verses 7 through 8, it lists all the different twelve tribes, but it does say, And of the tribe were sealed twelve twelve thousand of each tribe. Now, we've already told you so many times that the book of Revelation will, will uh, interpret itself. Later on, we are going to find out who this 144,000 are. Because the book of Revelation tells us. We're not, we're not going to read the, the verses 5 through 8. We're going to go now to, to uh, verse 9. And so now we have a second group of people. The first group of people were the mighty men and every man that's, that's on earth. The second group of people now are the 144,000 special ones, as we like to call them. And now we're about to get into a third group of people. And it says, but the verse 9 starts off, after this I beheld. So these things are things that are in, in order. It says, after this I beheld and lo a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne, and about the elders, and the four beasts, and fell before the throne on their faces, and worshipped God, saying, Amen, blessing, and glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might, be unto our God for ever and ever. Amen. Thirteenth verse says, And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, saying unto John, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and whence they came? We have said so many times that the book of Revelation answers itself. Now let's see who these people are. Verse 14 says, And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve them day and night in this temple, and he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them into living waters, fountain, living fountains of waters, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. So the book of Revelation tells us right here that this multitude of people that no man could number are the people that came out of great tribulation. These are ones that their, their robes are washed in the blood of the Lamb. These are God's church. The different people teach at different times when the church is raptured out of here. Here it is. Now, we're going to stop this video here. We're going to have to do a, a part two to this seal because this one goes a little long. And then we're going to look at, when we come back the next time, we're going to look at what the verses following chapter 12 says about these people and about these things and about the the return of jesus christ to this earth it's very interesting it's very good we'll see you next time